What's up, everybody? We back in the building. It, oh my god, it seemed like it's been forever since we've been on here. Oh, it's good, so good to be back. <laughs> I miss it. I, I miss basketball. I miss I miss the sports talk and everything else. So we're I back. What'd you say? I really did. I, I miss the Sixers. Like that was part of my. I realized I ain't had no life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, so listen, Sixers. <laughs> Sixers came out tonight. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not expect us to win the night. We we got our our best two players, Ben and Embiid, not playing tonight. We're going against Chicago, who is who's fighting for a playoff spot. And we went in there and we mopped them. Yeah. We mopped them. So I I mean I, I I honestly like I said I wasn't I was expecting to take an L tonight honestly, but we had guys step up. Thibel stepped up had a Decent game. Thibault had a good game. Yeah. Uh, Steph Sir showed signs. Tobias handled business. Um, Howard came in to handle business. Like we we had our guys stepped up. So and, and we're still first in the East. Yeah. Even though the, the, for some reason the Nets don't want to stop playing, the Nets won a night too. So we still only had one half a game above them, but we holding on. But um, as far as this game is concerned, I'm. I can't say I, I was very in what I'm trying to say. It's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very pleased with the outcome, the efforts from everybody. I'm not, I can't even talk about anybody as far as their bad play. I, all I can say is that they play well, top to bottom, starting out with um, got to get props to Thibel. Thibel mm -hmm. put the clamps again once on Levine. Levine was a no show. I know a lot of boys is coming out here saying, they wanted to trade Ben straight up for Zach Levine. The two yellow boys is not here tonight because they <laughs> they were saying we want, they want to get rid of Ben. They was they were saying Zach Levine is the guy. Don't get me wrong, Zach Levine is a very good player, but is he really a good? Is he a great player or is he a really good player? Is he just a good well, player on a bad team? Because what I'm seeing is a, a lot of things. You right, you right off the break. You, your legs are fresh. To me, I would have expected more of a down. Uh, I mean, wasn't he an all star though? So was his legs fresh? Like he had the whole whole all star. See, this this my thing though. I'm I'm not going I'm not going this Zach Levine because Zach Levine he I mean he's a star playing on a not too good team and he's helping to carry him. So I'm not I'm not going to rip him for that. And I do think that if you have a Zach Levine and he's playing with Tobias and Bead it would be it, it would raise his level but that being said i'm not trading ben simmons for him that, that that's what i'm saying listen everybody's getting upset and nervous about the nets because the nets make it they got blake griffin and yeah. I, I i i get all that it was a solid pickup too i i get that but I, I still don't think that blake griffin necessarily gives them what they did they still don't have that defensive big man so yeah. i think that it's still a mismatch problem in there but but when we just talk about the Sixers, and I and I mind you, I'm not just being a homer. I do think the Nets have a better team than the Sixers. But if the Sixers, if Steph Curry looked like he was a little bit more, he looked a little more spry tonight. I mean, he had seven assists. His shooting wasn't as, as but he had seven assists. He was moving around. He was, so I, I I give him props. He looked better tonight. Um, Thibel was hitting open shots. No, no, what's up? You say he looked better tonight to me. Yeah, I still feel like he has a problem getting a shot off. Like I thought he had more of a quicker release for some reason, and then, like he, he's shooting forty five percent. I remember at one point he was at 50, 55 percent. So his shooting is, has significantly dropped since the beginning of the year, and to me he he was struggling a little bit. So no, I agree. But this this what I say. But this is why tonight I I still need to see. Like remember before the break we were talking about how we need to see him after the break. And see when he comes off fresh. I thought he moved better tonight. Like I didn't think that he looked like he was stuck in mud tonight. Now you got to take not having Ben and not having Embiid in there into consideration when you talk about Steph. And that's that was my whole point in the first half when Steph was balling. It was because Ben and Embiid got him so many open opportunities. Now tonight you had him handling the ball, so he was going to have more attention on him. Yeah. So. I want to see when they come back and he's getting those open shot opportunities. If he's knocking them down, then I'll feel a lot better. And what I will say about the ball is he didn't have a lot of turnovers. Like the, I think the starters had very minimal amount of turnovers a day, which is a good thing. Let's see turnovers. He only had one. Yeah. So I'm not going to be mad at, as far as that is concerned. It's just 
he was one for six on three point lane. I guess that was my concern. Was like you're a three point shooter, I expect more than one from six from sh from shooting a three. But, but I don't think he was getting a whole lot of open threes though tonight. Like the same that he would get if you got Ben and Bead who draw attention in, and he's yeah. going to have a lot more open opportunities. Right. This this is one of those games where you really can't even nitpick or really should be complaining. They the, everybody played well. Props to um starting Tony Bradley, putting him in there as the starter. This, sure. uh, this, this was a really good um start. Actually, and B kind of trolled him a little bit during the game. If you saw that, I was reading Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> I guess somebody else, the announcer was reading Twitter too because they actually put it up inside the game. But B was like, what he, he said, that's it. I've seen enough build around Tony Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> but he played well. I think he gave us like yeah. 14 points. And those were the 14. He was seven for seven at, at the start of the game. He didn't miss. He just came in and he just ate him up. And then the wow. big white came in and finished them all. The I white. mean, Bradley, Bradley, like to your point, Bradley was seven for seven. Uh, Thibel was five for five. Uh, Cork Miles seven for 14, yep. Howard eight for 12. So, I mean, Shake was five for 15, and so was Steph Curry, yeah. Seth, Seth Curry. So, but the, again, this line. is without Ben and B. So, I, I, and I'm not over excited, like, I, I, I'm not hyping this and saying, oh, we, we bought it, but I was expecting this to be a tough game without our top two players, and the rest of the team stepped up and played. They did. Second quarter was a little. I was a little worried because remember we had a nice, a little comfortable lead in the, in the at the end of the first quarter, and then they was hitting threes and we was hitting twos, and we just saw those leads just shrink, shrink until it was tied. I think it was at fifty two, fifty two. Yeah. Uh, and so, so I was like, okay, this might be a tough game, but we took over. We just started balling, and against Dybul, I think he's our future starting three. I think it, but, it, well, see, that's the whole but that's the whole thing with Thibault, and I think we've all discussed this is we expected Thibault to be like our Bruce Bowen, like yeah. like just be able to shoot the open shots, yeah, but yeah. play that that premier defense. This is what he did tonight. Now, now I'm not going off of this one game tonight and saying he turned a corner type. I'm that, that everybody that's watching this, I just want y'all to understand. I'm not hyping it and feeling like we championship bound because these guys are playing. This was a good start. A I need to see consistency victory. out of that. Yeah, a road victory, which is, without your top two players, this was a good game. And without your coach, because uh, Doc wasn't uh, wasn't Doc out for the night? Wasn't he sick or something? And oh, he, was, he was there. He, 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 oh, no, 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 you're right. He was. He was. I know they were saying he wasn't going to be there. But yeah, he, was. He, was, he, he set out practice this week, earlier this week. Yeah. But they said he, he was there, and he made the right decision to just let them ball out, the young bulls. And now, let me ask you something real quick, right? Because right. I thought something interesting that happened tonight, right? Now, if Ben Simmons isn't playing, you would think that Matisse Thibault would get more minutes, right? Did he? He only had four minutes. No, you talking about So, Matisse. there's been, no, you're there's talking been about, rumors. You talking about Maxi? I mean, not, not Matisse. I'm not, yeah, Maxi. I'm sorry, Maxi. So, there's been rumors that the Sixers have been looking to make certain trades, and Maxi might have been in the mix. Mm. Do you think that might have had anything to do with his minutes? No, I think not. Think not, so? for this, not for this game. I'm thinking because I, I see what you're saying, but they just tried to get this win, and they said that we're gonna go with our veterans. We're not gonna put the young boy on a road. We was up twenty. We won by like twenty points, though. Yeah, then, then they then they put him in toward the end of the game for some garbage minutes. But that's what I'm saying. We was up like twenty early. Like we was up. We was beating them the whole game. So. We was, I ain't going to say 20, but we was up double digits for, for a good part of the game. So right. you don't think at any point in time Maxi should have been in there? No, you want to keep them. You want to keep that double digit lead. You don't want to give them any momentum because what's that momentum? What's a team getting momentum, especially if that team can shoot? One one of their um, shooters, I think he shot like five or six three pointers. He was killing us. And so. Yeah, uh, I know you're talking about the, uh, what's his name? Uh, but yeah. it was, it was the, the white guy that came in and he said he was freshly off injury, but he was stroking. He was stroking tonight, so you don't. But Doc, he was coaching to win, and so he's and down the stretch. Think about it, in the playoffs; he's not going to play Maxi. Max is not going to get no time in the playoffs. He's actually trying to figure out what's going to be my roster, who's going to be my top eight. 
But that's my thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, now I, I don't necessarily think this. I don't necessarily think the Sixers are gonna make a big name splash like we would like. Like, I would love this if they could pull off a Zach Levine trade or, or Buddy Hill or something like that. But I, I've seen more and more stuff like where it's saying they're thinking the Sixers are going to make more of, like a depth type trade, because no matter what, I don't want them to trade Ben Bead or or uh, Tobias. But I do think that we need to shore certain things up. So. But even even to do that, you might have to trade a Maxi or a Thibel, you know, to make those things happen. I mean, I, I wouldn't be opposed to giving up. See, I need Thibel. Thibel's defense is. I agree. I I'm agree. Almost, he's almost like to me, almost an untouchable. Right now, I'm looking at you can't trade Ben, you can't trade Toby, you can't trade Joel, and Thibel. Those four people are pretty much the bare rock, and then then as far as Dwight. I think Dwight has played himself. He's a significant piece, and, and but as far as Thibault, I'm not giving up, giving them up in the trade. Like, who would you? Only give... way I'm, only way I'm trading Thibault is if you're put, bringing in somebody like a Zach Levine. Yeah, but I mean, Thibault is not going to be enough to give you Levine. I'm, I'm saying you wouldn't have to trade like draft picks, and yeah. I, I don't think we have enough to trade for Levine. Even though that's that, I, I think that would be a perfect fit. I don't think we do. But my big thing now with concerning the Sixers is if, if like we were saying before, Seth Curry, if he can get back to playing a semblance of what he was in the early in the season, and if Thibault could give you more, cons- I, I don't expect him to shoot 100% every night. Uh, what he shot, like, I think he shot like seven for seven from the field and like three for three from threes. I don't expect that from Matisse Thibault. I, I don't think any of us expects that from Matisse Thibault. He was five for five, three for three from threes. I don't expect that from Matisse. But if he can give you just like he shot the three with, with confidence and yeah. he was hitting it, I just need him to hit the wide open threes. And with his defense, I can take that. It, I, I, I take it too. But I, I do expect that from Matisse. I do expect him to be maybe not five for five. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, he can give me 12 points a game. He can give he can give us twelve points a game. He had thirteen tonight. He can give us twelve. You can yeah. so that's what I'm. That's I'm okay with Thibault, but I think as a starter, I, I believe that he can be the replacement for Danny Green eventually. Well, but, well, see, I I don't I don't know if I necessarily need him. Well, see, I guess I could have him starting over Danny if he can hit the three. If he could just hit the three at like a 36 percent yeah. clip. I, mean, I could do with that, and then you have Danny coming off the bench. Yeah. But I kind of like the idea of Thibault coming off the bench and provide because you got Ben starting, so Thibault coming off the bench still giving you that that defensive presence. So, but I mean, listen, the Sixers. I like I said, I wasn't expecting them to win tonight. I'm not over hyping this game because it was Chicago, but Chicago is, is vying for a playoff spot. Yeah. Um, we're in a tough battle with the Nets because the Nets keep winning. So we got to keep winning. Exactly. Because we need that number one seed. We got to, because so. if we, anything less than that, we got to stay at least one and two and really want to stay one because, you know, eventually we won't have to meet the Milwaukee Bucks. It's, it's really going to come down to the Milwaukee Bucks, the Sixers and the Nets. And so you want to stay, you don't want to, you want to avoid meeting them in the second round of playoffs in the way you do Yeah, you it. want them to beat each other up. You yeah. want them to beat each other up and you want the easy route. Exactly. So I agree with that. Also, we ain't talking a little bit about Mati, not Mati, um, Tobias. He struggled early, but he was down the stretch. He balled. That's that third quarter. He kind of changed the game around. He was hitting, you could see that open three point shot, that baseline shot that he that wasn't even open. But it was a yep. money shot. He was balling. I got to get Tobias. He came in and he struggled early on, but he came in. He finished with what twenty four points. Yeah, I mean, and he ended up shooting the game fifty three percent for the game. See, but if you notice, this is kind of this kind of seems like what um, Tobias has been this season. That's like it seems like it's a lot of games like where he starts off a little slow. But that's why when you have th- this is what I'm saying with the Sixers. The way they got to set up, and B gives you consistency throughout the game for the most part. Yeah, it seems like Ben Simmons a lot early on is aggressive and establishing himself. Yeah, and Tobias close, seals the deal later on. Yeah, so we just need those guys, those role guys, like we need the Seth Curry to hit his open shots, Danny Green to hit open shots, yeah. and and um and, and guys like Matisse Thybul. We need we need these guys to hit their open shots. And Corkmas, I mean Corkmas had a decent game tonight. 
He did. I, I even Kirk Moss actually was going to the basket, got two and one attempts. Yeah, I still won't accept. I won't set any expectations for Kirk Moss. But whatever it is, it is what it is. I'm never going to say I'm gonna depend on Kirk Moss for anything. If it, if it's gravy, he's like the icing on cake or a cherry on so, the top. So who on the team are you saying that you depend on to be like that though? My expectations is for Thibel to shoot and play better. Like I have higher expectations for Matisse. I have expectations for Seth Curry and obviously for Ben and Joel, but, and also for Shake. Don't boys, I expect a certain thing, certain amount, certain things from them each game. But, but for, isn't Thibel give? I mean, isn't, isn't Quirk Miles giving you pretty much similar to what they're giving you? Like, like consistency wise? Not consistency learning wise. No, like, Shake, Shake is very inconsistent. And I like Shake, yeah. you know, coming into the, I was expecting Shake to be like six, ten, six man a year type, but Shake has been inconsistent. I, so with Seth, everybody's been. So that's why I'm saying I can't. Now, not that being said, if we can make a trade to upgrade, I'm with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Any of them dudes. But I'm not going to I'm not going to rip Quirk Miles because Quirk Miles does give you. I'm not going to rip him. I'm just not my heart. I can't count on him. I'm not going to sit here and be like, yo, Quirk, because if you set goals for him, you're going to you're going <laughs> to. You, so who but that's what I'm saying. So who do you think you, you're talking about like being reliable? So. You think do you think Seth has been reliable like that? Well, do you think I, Danny is reliable like that? Cork Miles, Thibel? And when they don't succeed, I'm more disappointed that they didn't succeed. I'm like, you I, you were sent here, or we 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 hired you to do the certain job. So I'm I have an expectation for Seth to play well. My expectations for Shake, you I'm disappointed when I see Cork Miles, there can't be any dis- disappointment because I'm like. I know who you are, so if whatever you gave me is nope, great. nope, nope. First of all, listen, listen, hold. I'm gonna check you because you can't do that. Because whenever Cork Moss stinks it up, you come in here and immediately, immediately go at Cork Moss. So you're not just accepting Cork Moss for what okay, he's. Let's be real. You. Let's let's um, be real. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna count him. I'm not gonna put my heart into him. I can't. And then, so then why? So then why? Whenever he stinks it up, you come in like Cork Moss stinks. He shouldn't handle. So you do. You don't it's come not, on here and rip Danny Green and Seth Curry like that if they have a bad night, but you do come on and rip Cork Miles. Because I know Cork Miles is fool's gold. <laughs> so why you come on so hard? If you know what he is, why do you come at him? It seems like to me you should come, you you should go harder at these other guys who you expect more from. I'm more disappointed. But I just I, mine is more so angry. Like, why are you even playing? Like, why are you here? That's what it is. It's like that's my that's what my, that's what my anger comes with Quirk Miles. Okay. I don't think he's a true NBA talent. I think he's just hustling the game. <laughs> oh, I, I think he's. NBA I think he talent. can play basketball. I just don't. As far as NBA top tier championship caliber, mm, I don't know. But what what do you say? You saying top tier? See, that's that's why I'm saying that's. I mean, I, I get what you're saying, but like I said, to me, I, I think Shake Milton should be doing better. I, I, I'm i still underwhelmed by what Sheik is doing. Seth, I'm hoping that he get back on track and that, you know, they, like, I think you had posted earlier, was talking about how they were saying Seth looked good in practice. Yeah. Looked like he kind of, like, shaking off the rust of the, the COVID thing. He's, so, he's, I... Hmm? What you say? You think he sprained his foot in the game. You see that? Yeah. Hey, listen, listen. That, that joint had me cracking up, though. Because it was like on defense, he's like, oh, limping around. But then he came down the other end and jacked the yeah. a three from from deep. Like, yeah, you know how that stuff goes. Like, yeah, you hurt when it's defense. But on offense, all of a sudden, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like, it's a <laughs> yeah, no problem jacking that joint from deep when it was on offense. So tomorrow, but, uh, go ahead. Tomorrow, if um, – if- or if Joel, once he gets tested, if he tests negative, he'll be able to play tomorrow versus the Washington Wizards. So that's going to be a tough game because we're going against Tony. Um, what's his name? Not Tony Bradley. Um, Bradley Bill. Bradley Bill. And then you also got what's the other guy? Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. Russell Westbrook. You got the both of them, and they've been they've been pretty hot of a team. They well, they've been going up and down. So that's going to be a tough matchup. What do you think we're going to do without Ben tomorrow? Uh, I think Bede is enough against them. I, I think, first of all, you think, I understand I'm thinking B didn't get a chance to play in the, the All-Star game. So, you know you know how B get, like, he, he liked those opportunities to showcase yeah. himself. And so, so, I think I I could see B coming out to try to, you know what I'm saying, and then having to sit out the night. 
I can see MB coming out to try to prove a point, you know, with, with this game. So yeah, that's, that's tomorrow. 50, so that's at least like 50, 55 points between us. Yeah, right. <laughs> but but I'm, I mean, I'm more interested to see how these other guys play yeah. when Embiid and Ben is back. Because if they can play at the level that they played tonight, mind you, it was Chicago. Yeah. But if they could play some semblance of the level they did tonight, and like I said, Shake and, and Seth didn't shoot all that great, but Ma- Matisse balled though, and and we still won by twenty two points without Ben and Bead. So and a, and the defense looked decent tonight. And Danny Green didn't have a great game either. Right, he was three of nine from the floor, so yep, he didn't play too well. So hopefully tomorrow he'll come in and he'll shoot a little better. He's so streaky. But uh, props to Dwight Howard. Though. Dwight Howard, you see them dunks and everything. He balled out. He gave us a great game. I was First a- of all, he almost blew it when he missed that wide open dunk, and then all of a sudden they went on a run and got back in it. That run, that that run almost killed us. <laughs> he, 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 he more than made up for us. He finished the night. He did. He did. Points. So he he yeah. was dominant. So I like Doc pushing all the right buttons. Give much props to his coaching staff. I think him. I can't, I can't forget the other coach that he has, the guy that used to be with Sacramento, the Kings. He's a really good assistant head coach, assistant coach. Hey, Doc has a good, he has, he actually has a pretty decent coaching staff. He does. This top tier, because he's not intimidated by talent. I agree. Where, well, he, remember, even like Avery Johnson, she tried out for our team last year and he didn't get the job. Because Brett Brown, you you know, he wanted to be the smartest. Right. Person. Certain coaches, when they feel a little insecure, they don't want to bring top coaching talent that might take their jobs. Exactly. But but like you said, Doc is secure with his and, and who he is. Yes. And listen, for the Sixers, though, I I, ref, I believe with every fiber of my being, Daryl Morey will make a move. And, and I think that Morey is of the mindset of I'm not giving up Ben. I'm not giving up Tobias, and I'm definitely not giving up Embiid. But within the parameters of that, I'm going to fill out this roster with players that complement them and play well. And I think that they can make up enough to end up beating the Nets. I, I do think that the Nets is the top team in the conference right now. But that remains to be seen. I, I think a lot of it has to do with matchups, honestly. I, I, I don't think anybody has the answer for Joel Embiid in the East. That's true. So you also got Dick Wilder. Or Ben Simmons. Honestly, if Ben Simmons plays the way that he's been playing, I don't think anybody has an answer for him either. You got to think about that buyout market too, because even after the trade deadline, right. over, that buyout market with those teams just trying to get them, trying to help, they pretty much helping players get a, a ring. So I right. think if we don't go free agency or, I'm sorry, trades, I will wait to see like who's going to be eligible, who's going to get bought out by their teams. And then, because right now, the spacing on our team is really good, and I want that to continue to be good. So we really need somebody that's like a, a stretch four or somebody who's like extra shooters, and that will help Ben because Ben and B clock that middle, and they need that they need that space down low. But that's I'm what I'm saying. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on Seth just yet. I, I still got to see a couple more games. I'm gonna they they done hyped it up and they said that he's back in shape and everything else. And like I said to me tonight, he looked like he was more. He was running around. He had more movement to him. Yeah. Uh, he was able to penetrate, uh, get past guys, and make passes. So I like that movement that he had out of him. Now I just got to see when Ben Simmons and Embiid is back in there and he's getting these open three-pointers if he's going to hit them. Yeah, so that looked like he had that Johnson & Johnson COVID. <laughs> <laughs> the single, he had the single shot. Yeah, he, he got, got the, the single, single shot. shot. <laughs> <laughs> like, we'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for listening. We will be back. You got any final thoughts before we get out of here? No man, I, I'm just I'm just happy we back to watching basketball. I, I need it. We're gonna be on every other night or back to back night, so it looks good. I'm happy to see. We you. we yeah. will be on here every every game. No, we'll never be here. Them two other <laughs> boys, they part time employees. They they part time workers. Call them interns. <laughs> Nine days. Yeah. Eight days off. <laughs> Eight days off. Ephraim probably sleeps somewhere right now. I know, balled up. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, don't forget to, um, to, you get a chance to like, comment, and subscribe. You can watch us on YouTube, Facebook, and on Twitter. And you can download us on iTunes and Spotify and just listen to us, what, rock out with us at the gym. So again, thanks for listening, and we are out. Wait, wait.